I'll see you again, mister. Big emergency, universe goes bang in five minutes, but... Brilliant. I'm the Doctor. Who are you? Yes, you are. You are the Doctor. Yes, I am. I'm the Doctor. Oh, good for you, Doctor. Good for brilliant old you. Is there something wrong with you? Oh, there it goes, the frowny face. I remember that one. Mind you, a bit saggier than I ought to be. Hair's a bit greyer. That's because of me, though. Two of us together have shorted out the time differential. Should all snap back in place when we get you home. Better close that coat again. But never mind that. Look at you. The hat, the coat, the crickety cricket stuff, the stick of celery. Yeah. Brave choice, celery, but fair play to you. Not a lot of men can carry off a decorative vegetable. Shut up. There is something very wrong with my TARDIS, and I've got to do something about it very, very quickly. And it would help. It really would help if there wasn't some skinny idiot ranting in my face about every single thing that happens to be in front of him. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, the back of my head! What? Sorry, sorry, it's not something you see every day, is it? Back of your own head? Mind you. I can see why you wear a hat. I don't want to seem vain, but could you keep that on? What have you done to my TARDIS? You've changed the desktop theme, haven't you? What's this one? Coral? It's worse than the leopard skin. Oh, and now they come, the brainy specs. <laughs> you don't even need them. You just think they make you look a bit clever. That's an alert. Level five, indicating a temporal collision. It's like two TARDISes have merged, but there's definitely only one TARDIS present. It's like two time zones at war in the heart of the TARDIS. That's a paradox. I could blow a hole in the space-time continuum the size of... Well, actually, the exact size of Belgium. That's a bit undramatic, isn't it? Belgium? You need this? No, I'm fine. Oh, no, of course. You must have went hands-free, didn't you? Like, hey, I'm the doctor. I can save the universe using a kettle and some string. And look at me, I'm wearing a vegetable. Who are you? you take a look. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You're... Oh, no. Here You're... it comes. Yeah, yeah, I am. A fan. Yeah. What? Level 10, now. This is bad. Two minutes to Belgium. What do you mean a fan? I'm not just a fan, I'm you. OK, you're my biggest fan. Look, it's perfectly understandable. I go zooming around space and time, saving planets, fighting monsters and being, well, let's be honest, pretty sort of marvellous. So naturally, now and then, people notice me. Start up their little groups. That Lindelot. Are you one of them? How did you get in here? I can't have you lot knowing where I live. Listen to me, I'm you. I'm you with a new face. Check out this bone structure, Doctor, because one day you're going to be shaving it. The cloister bell. Yeah, right on time, that's my cue. In less than a minute, we're going to decorate a black hole strong enough to swallow the entire universe! Yeah, that's my fault, actually. I was rebuilding the TARDIS, forgot to put the shields back up. Your TARDIS and my TARDIS, well, the same TARDIS, different points in its own time stream, collided. And uh, there you go, end of the universe, butterfingers. But don't worry, I know exactly how this all works out. Watch. Venting the thermo buffer! 
drawing you help me regulate that. And just to finish off, let's fry those Zyphon crystals. You'll blow up the TARDIS. No way out. Who told you that? You told me that. Supernova and black hole at the exact same instant. Explosion counts as our implosion. Matter remains constant. Brilliant. Far too brilliant. I've never met anyone else who could fly the TARDIS like that. Sorry, mate, you still haven't. You didn't have time to work all that out. Even I couldn't do it. I didn't work it out. I didn't have to. You remembered. Because you will remember. You remembered being me, watching you doing that. You only knew what to do because I saw you do it. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Wibbly -wibbly. <laughs> Right! TARDIS is separating. Sorry, Doctor. Time's up. Back to long ago. Where are you now? Miss Antigan, Cybermen and Mara and Tunnels and Funny Hats and the Master. Oh, he just showed up again. Same as ever. Oh, no. Really? Does he still have that rubbish beard? No, no beard this time. Well, a wife. Oh. I, I seem to be off. What can I say? Thank, Thank you. you. Doctor. Thank you. I'm very welcome. You know, I love being you. Back when I first started at the very beginning, I was always trying to be old and grumpy and important, like you do when you're young. And then I was you. And it was all dashing about and playing cricket and my voice going all squeaky when I shouted. I still do that, the voice thing. I got that from you. Oh, and the trainers. And... Snap. Because you know what, Doctor? You were my doctor. Today is to come. All my love to long ago. Hmm. Oh, Doctor, remember to put your shields up. What?